Hello, good morning and welcome back to me destroying the world as <laughs> Centralist Australia. So, where are we? Where are we? It's been, uh, it's been a couple of days since I've carried on this campaign, so I just need to reorientate myself. So, looks like we are ready to attack the Indonesian order in 100 and something days. Kill. And the reason we're doing that is because resource map, we want the juicy, juicy oil and rubber and our aluminium. But mainly we want the oil and the rubber, which is going to set us up nicely for the rest of our future objectives. So, let's get back on the old five-speed game. Belgium join the Allies, Netherlands join the Allies, everyone's joined the Allies. The capital city of the Republic of China has capitulated. USSR occupies bits of Poland. Germany is pushing into the Netherlands and Belgium. All right, research. And we're going to go for a bit of a... Mm, I'm going to keep up the industrial focus for now. Um, we really want to... We're going to get our factories up because there's going to be, and there has been for this entire <laughs> series, huge problem. Absolute huge problem. Just being able to have enough factories to pump out what we need. Although, since we're about to go to war, I might just do a little bit of infantry orientated research. Belgium has capitulated. Righto. Hmm. We're going to go for another research slot because it's definitely going to help us. Alright, they're pushing into France. They have nearly hit Paris. Yeah, that's going to be over very, very quickly. Let's just watch this, see how it develops. So bear in mind, guys, that I am not part of the Axis all the allies I was initially dominion of the United Kingdom that has all changed the fall of Paris there we go Germany now owns France a little bit of fighting going on still no it's all over right back to our neck of the woods oh, I wonder if we get a infantry division, we get two infantry divisions, give them their own general, move them back over here. Oh, I wonder. So, what I'm thinking is who do we want? We'll give them... Well, they're not fighting the desert. We'll give them the Hellfighter General. And we might even give them a cavalry... A cavalry unit as well. I'm deep in thought here. You'll see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to be doing is making it so they navally invade over here while the rest of my army pushes through and hopefully can redeploy over here modify government nothing that I really want to use my political power on improve worker conditions promises of peace no we don't really care about promises of peace uh, sure we can do some band press 
institute press censorship so people are more fascist orientated what's going on here ask for docking rights from Vichy France they want to V-supply their ships at our ports no not going to happen there's no way that I'm going to become a pawn of the Axis powers that idea can get right out the window alright there's our three divisions cancel that order uh, you're gonna go from here you're gonna go to get out of the way here yes confirmed can you do it? you can do it cool well yeah we'll go for a we'll add a fourth infantry division to that as well that might be for the best. We no longer get the effects from abandon the Westminster system. Cool. What do we have? Support Indonesian uprising. Doesn't really help us. Volunteer Defence Corps. Doesn't really help us. Citizen Military Forces. That's the one that's allowing us to have a high conscription level. That does help us. And we are still in the Great Depression, which is uh, not too bad, not too bad. Norway's been brought into the war. I've now got an extra research slot. Gains national spirit, Australian arms production, which grants civilian to military factory conversion. Well, it's not really going to help me, to be honest. Guess we'll go with uh, classify aliens. Cool. So now we have an extra research slot, which you're going to pump into. We'll put a bit of research into getting some more fighters, as well as... Uh, do we want to upgrade artillery? We do indeed. And are we building artillery? We are. We will go with adding a couple more pieces of artillery to our divisions just to increase that soft attack that they have against the enemy infantry which a lot of our fighting will be directed against infantry at least for the moment so we're in deficit of 562 pieces of artillery and we're going to need about a year and a half to bring that up to standard. That's alright. Justification for war is complete. Alright, you guys need to stop training. And we're gonna wait probably two months just to get our manpower to a We're gonna we're gonna declare war on the twenty eighth of March. It's gonna be the day that we invade. Perhaps we should, perhaps we could and should get rid of one horse division, one cavalry division, just so we have that manpower pool for the rest of our guys. That is what we're going to do. So we've got 7,000 troops in reserve. 7,000 man recruitable troops that can jump in and replace the losses that we are probably going to sustain from this war. Cool. 
while we are poised for war, we're going to go in about five days. We're going to attack. So I will.